Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. Today we're going to be doing a Molly gameplay and commentary and Molly is one of the all-around strongest characters in Zuba. She has mobility, she has damage, and while her health is a little low, she just has that potential to outplay every character in, in all ways possible. Gonna run into a Larry here. He does have coffee, so I'm not able to pick up that shotgun or spear, but uh, he does flag, and while I don't really play the flag game, uh, that, that is going to make it pretty easy to get away. As you can see, I'm using Nitro Shotgun, and this item is definitely preferential. Personally, I prefer Nitro Shotgun on Molly. Some people use Molotov instead, but the basic build that most players use is something along the lines of Vampire Teeth, Adrenaline shots, cluster bomb, and then either nitro shotgun or um, Molotov and <clears throat> The two differences the main two differences between both of those is Molotov gives a little more control um, Nitro shotgun is for kind of playing a little more aggressive, you know gives that that extra range uh, the extra speed of the of the pellet travel from your shotgun and so it really comes down to preference you know if you're not as good with precision and aiming then you might just want to go with the molotov because that gives a lot of control you know you can control health kits you can keep teammates uh, enemy teammates down um, prevent reses all that good stuff so you see me just running around killing everybody, and that's really what I like to do. The higher the level you are on Molly, the more aggressive you want to be. I don't think she's meant to be played passively at all. I think Molly should be played uh, as aggressive as possible, given her insane mobility. Um, I'm rarely ever stationary with her, but you know, if you're, you're closer to mid-tier level, you know, level 9 through 12, even 13, you can play a little more passive, not you know, not just sitting in bushes and whatnot, but looking for fights to jump into, not really just going in blindly to every single fight that you see. Um, that might not be the best idea, but you know, the higher the level you are with Molly, the more aggressive you wanna be. And you know, in this game specifically, we do have the legendary, we're just hunting everybody down. Um, run into another Molly over here. That's another thing that a lot of people struggle with is, is understanding the mirrors. So for the Molly mirror, um, what it comes down to is who has the better spear. If you have the better spear, you can catch up to the enemy Molly. If they do, then you won't ever be able to catch up to them. And that's generally true if both of you jump uh, perfectly. If you don't, then um, you know one of you could end up getting away or catching up even without a better spear. You know, it doesn't come down to spear. It just comes down to who's who's jumping more, you know. All right, um, we're gonna hop into the second game and I'll talk a little bit more about early, mid, and late. One thing a lot of people underestimate is Molly's low health. Um, so at the beginning, when you're just starting out and looking for, for weapons and loot, Molly is at her weakest. Yes, she can jump away and move around quickly, but if you're not prepared to uh, take a few hits, potentially from like a Bruce or a Buck with coffee or a couple guards, you can struggle a lot. You know, if you if you run away from some from a fight early on and, and you're not properly looted, you might just run into someone else right away. You know, it's definitely a consideration you might want to make to run coffee for that fourth item instead of Molotov or Nitro Shotgun, and there's nothing wrong with that. But again, you know, the higher the, the higher the level you are, the more you should focus on being aggressive and just hunting for those kills. Um, early game, you know, you just kind of try and play it safe. If you can find a good spot to, to loot up well, maybe get a couple kills, something like that. That's a, it's always solid with Molly. I did see a gold over there, but I want to pick up this Nyx real quick. And um, for her mid game, she's again, you know, just hunting kills. It, it's pretty solid throughout pretty un uniform strategy of just hunting down people, um, jumping into fights you know you can win, not getting uh, too aggressive if 
if your level and your items don't warrant it. You know, if you have all bronze weapons, even if you're level 13 or 14, and you know you see another level 13, 14, and they have gold weapons, you might not uh, you might not come out on top of that one. So it's really just gauging what you can win, what you can't win, and then and that just you know that's pretty much the late game too. It's Molly is just so mobile and agile, and you're just always moving, always looking for that next kill, hopping around, boing, 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 boing. Super fun. I definitely think Molly is one of the most fun characters to play in the game as well. Um, there is currently a bug with Joey, and what he'll do is um, he'll die, but he isn't technically dead. You know, if you shoot Joey, um, everyone's familiar that he'll go to zero HP, but he won't disappear until he makes it back to Molly. And I hope they fix that soon because it is a seriously annoying bug. You know, where you shoot the enemy Molly's Joey and then he just runs back, continues blocking all your arrows, all your shots, all your spears. Definitely frustrating, but uh, I have reported it. I've tried to make Wildlife Studios aware, and, and hopefully that does get fixed at a, at a certain point. Just looking to clean up here. Um, I think we'll, we can possibly end this game with 14 kills as well. I think we ended the last game with 14. And just see how powerful Molly is at hunting people down. <clears throat> Got another Molly here as the last player. Wait for her to jump and throw your grenade. Barricade there and barricade here. Now she's stuck. And that's how you do it. All right, so as usual, in the final game, we will give some shout outs, um, Q and A, all that good stuff. Shout out to RL Turbo, awesome video. Thanks man, always see you commenting, active on the videos. Much love, thank you for the support. Shout out to Phoenix XMT. Uh, Avocado637 asks, why do people use Molotov on Molly? Well, uh, I just explained that earlier in the video. <clears throat> uh, Hypertony64, hey, what should I use on level 10 Duke and level 10 Buck? Nice gameplay, by the way. Oh yeah, and did you change your name to Saud Clerfer? Yeah, that was a, a joke for a day. Um, it wasn't meant to be more than that, but uh, customer support was a little late getting back to me. Thought it was gonna be a little longer actually, but you know, here we are, we're back. Back is fear. Uh, level 10 Duke and Buck. Personally, I prefer some combination of coffee, ad adrenaline shot, vampire teeth, and then either um, cluster bomb if it's Duke, or you could go with nitro bow on Duke. For Buck, you could go with nitro spear, you could go with jungle shoes. Know, something like that. So ran into another level 16 there. I didn't realize because I'm answering comments and questions. We need to find some health kits before we take him on and get this legendary. That'll definitely be helpful. All right. Um, shout out to Skullduggery2006. Is your name South Clerfer? Yeah, it was. Uh, just answered that one. Z. Tevil boy, can you make a Shelly video, please? Yeah, Shelly's coming up. Don't worry. Shelly's coming. Definitely want to pick up this barricade for the Finn. Um, unpronounceable name. Uh, hey, bro. Awesome videos. Keep up the good work. Whisper7 here. Oh, Whisper7. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Much love. Thank you for the support. Pick up this Nyx for an extra health kit. Definitely need two. Probably. Another great thing about Molly is you can just chase Nyx's down. <clears throat> okay, Chibi Chun, great tips. Thanks, man. Shout out to you. Much love. Shout out to Bloodshot. Love the vids. Uh, shout out to Danielle Tucker. Epic, just subscribed. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. Shout out to Felipe Scalon. I just love your videos, my friend. Much love to you, man. Um... I'm going to finish out this game now, and then finish up Q&A. Okay, there's the level 16 Finn. We can take him out now. 
And we're just gonna play pretty passive. If you let a fin get on top of you, it's gonna be pretty hard to get away, so. All right. Shout out to Dragon Brawl, Bra Dragon Brawl Stars. Hi, I found your channel just now and I really liked it. And I would like to ask you a couple of questions. I hope you answer them. How long have you been playing Zuba and that you have all the characters of the maximum level. Um, well, it doesn't really come down to how long you've been playing. That it's more of a money thing. Um, yeah. Uh, shout out to Arena Beauty. I think I've been killed by you like twice in the past few days because I recognize your name. Um, yeah, I, I do play quite a bit, so that's entirely possible. Shout out to Alan Hamed. Fear, what items do you have on Steve? Uh, Steve video is coming up, but I think I use Adrenaline Shot coffee, vampire teeth, and nitro bow. Um, if you go in game and check the leaderboards, you can click my profile and see what items I have on each character. And also want to mention the spreadsheet that I have in the description of each video. Uh, final shout out, Victor Mateos, thanks for your advice on Lizzie. Hope you have a good day. Much love, man, thank you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you learned something. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a Nyx video out and happy hunting.